Hi guys, what are we gonna do today? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make buttons. You can see you can do so many things. And we had done a bunch of Christmas corsage buttons. But let's just get started. So I have a template here that you can download this. We'll have this. Um, if you end up using a machine this size, this will work really well. And so I just made a template of the sizes I need. What you're going to do is you're gonna find an image that's going to fit into that. This might be a little small, but you're really getting about an eighth, just over an eighth inch of a border that is not gonna be seen. So like when I set up my templates, I like to, if I'm doing a bunch of one, I'll just set them up, copy them off, because you want to use a very thin, like a copy paper. And then you cut your circle. I'm going to be doing lots of them. I'll put them on a template, piece everything up, and copy them off on my printer. Ones that I'm doing specific that are gonna be one of a kind, like this. Sometimes I use book paper or Bible paper. I wanted to use this really fun black paper that I sanded, it's my black place mats. And I wanna put this transfer on here. That part of this isn't gonna fit, so I am going to piece it out. And I, what I'm gonna do is cut the greenery and put that down and then put these on top so more of it shows. So you need to remember there is a border that's gonna get cut off so you don't want your image all the way to the edge. So I'm just using a piece of transfer. You could stamp, you could just print a photograph out. One thing to remember is it's gotta be very, very lightweight paper. So that was pretty simple. So I'm gonna show you how we did this. And we're gonna have a link to some different button makers that are available out there. And they really are pretty simple. Each one is probably just a little different. This has this metal casing and I put this ring in. And to start, I'm using my cap. Now the one thing I found you want to remember is which side is up. You just kind of wanna remember that. And what I did is I drew this little line right here. So I know where this button is facing that's the top at the other end there. I actually drew on this also. So you want this laying down really well. You want to put your little mylar sheet over the top. So I have my two lines like that so I can see this is facing up and you'll see why in a moment. I turn this knob and most of them are kind of like this but each one will be just a little different. I pick it up and turn it so this black piece is further up. I just slide this into this machine. I'm gonna clamp down once and I hear it click. Bring it up, pull it out, pick this up, pull out the black piece. The back of this pin, you can see this is the back of the pin back, so that goes down. But once again, I'm gonna look. There's my line right there. So the top of my pin back is up at the top. Otherwise your pin will be upside down or it'll be hung weird. Let's find that little line again. See how close I am. Now I am going to hold this here and turn the black piece. Slide it back in. Press all the way down. Bring it back up. This is so easy guys. Now you have a very, very cute little pin. So wasn't that easy? The hardest part is getting the machine. So we will have a link at the bottom of the video um, for some different machines you can get. They're very, very easy. And also in the link, we're gonna have more information about customized buttons. But whatever you do, have fun designing your buttons. Thanks guys.